Hello friends, welcome to CC Gurukul Live Lectures. Dear friends, during this session, we are going to continue further in our series on environmental studies. Today, we are going to talk in detail on tourism and environment. We are going to find out uh, how tourism could be promoted and what impact does it play, that is, uh, what impact is played by the environment on tourism. Friends, for the discussion on the topic, we have with us in our studios, Professor R.B. Singh. Professor R.B. Singh is a renowned professor of uh, geography from Delhi School of Economics, University of uh, Delhi. Professor R.B. Singh is a renowned professor of geography, as I already said, and through him we get in-depth knowledge on uh, various topics of uh, geography. Friends, we know that you might have questions by listening to us and if you feel to ask questions, feel free to talk to us through our toll-free number. Our number is 1-800-110-430. I repeat, our number is 1-800-110-430. Now, I would like to welcome our guest, Professor R.P. Singh, once again. Hello, sir. Welcome to the lecture. Thank you, Gitka Ji. <coughs> welcome, viewers. In continuation of our uh, discussion on environmental study. Today we are going to take the tourism. Tourism is a very important for our country and the world as a whole. Many states, many countries are declaring tourism as an industry and one can see a very close linkage between tourism and environment. Environment provides very important resource for tourism and tourism also influences environment. And one can see also the close relationship between tourism and sustainable development. Economically, environment and social development of its country depending on, depends on tourism. It can be very enormous type of you know, linkages and impact. This is this opens up the opportunity for business, trade, and capital investment, creating jobs and entrepreneurship for the workforce and protecting our heritage, including natural and cultural heritage. Tourism and uh, 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 Travel generated almost US dollar 7.6 trillion, 10 percent of the total global GDP, and 277 million jobs, one in 11 jobs of the global economy coming from tourism, particularly if you take the data of 2014. Elaborating further about the linkage between tourism and economy. I would like to tell you that travel and tourism growing at a faster rate in developing country in India, a country like India, where we have a very good diversity of not only the cultural but also the geographical diversity. And many significant factors are also responsible, automotive, financial services, health care, tourism expansion is expanded, expected to continue a stronger rate than earlier with the total contribution to GDP expected to increase by 3.7 percent. New investments, in, uh, investment, new destination, opportunity will also continue to emerge as tourism becomes increasingly affordable across the developing world. I would like to tell you the, some of the important new trends. At present, you know, seventh largest in terms of GDP and can become third largest by 2020, this tourism. 20 million foreign tourists by 2020, we are expecting. Types, we have medical, pilgrimage tourism, eco-tourism business tourism, historical adventure tourism. One another important characteristic I would like to tell you about India, that India is considered is a most digitally travel advanced nation. 
many programs like Atithi Devo Bhav, Incredible India Campaign, E Bhisa to 163 countries, you know, 163, 163 countries, First Ever Tourism Mart. These are the very important initiatives taken recently. Here you can see this the investment in tourism in Indian states, lot of Uttarakhand investing lot on tourism, Karnataka, Maharashtra, you know, but still many states like Andhra Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, we do not have much investment, even West Bengal. Rajasthan, we get the lot of tourists, but investment not so far. But you know, recently many factors affected and drive her, uh, played a very important driver for the growth, her, growth of tourism, particularly rising income level of the people, the business travel to India, the better roads and infrastructure facility, flights you know increasing the flights, state government initiatives, different TV channel, tourism, various initiatives and campaign, you know already I mentioned few, these are the very very important you know uh, 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 taken. So, you know government initiative, private university, you know business travel improving the infrastructure, these are the some of the important. Now, I would like to discuss about the types of tourism and la largely you know in present contest I would like to take, no doubt religious pilgrimage tourism, these are the important you know river tourism, these are the old you know campaign and but the, some of the repent, important recent initiative I would like to mention about the rural tourism, adventure tourism, medical tourism, wellness tourism, development of campsites. And, and so that is why I would like to bring before you here tourism as an industry in India. If you will take the 2014 foreign tourist arrival data, 7,703 million people visited. Growth of foreign tourist arrival in 2014 almost 10.6 percent. If you will take the foreign exchange earnings, so 12,008.3 million rupees. So, Tourism economy is almost in 2014 6.6 .6 percent of the GDP and support 7.7 percent of the total employment. Only 22.57 million arrivals in India accounting 0.4 percent of the world tourism. So, worldwide you know rank if you will see is a quite low you know 2038, but here I would like to mention about the recently the national mission on pilgrimage rejuvenation and a spiritual augmentation you know and rupees 10 million is being expended for that, but we have a lot of a scope for that and India is interplay of natural and cultural heritage, a snow clad zone, seasonality in climate, rich he cultural heritage, diverse environment, varied fairs and festivals, long coastal lines 5000 almost the uh, 400 no, 7,500 uh, al almost kilometer long coastal lines, arc and architecture, many monumental attractions, they are attracting the people all over the world, 
if you will see this the total tourist in Himachal Pradesh growing rapidly. Himalayan states if you say like a particularly this the Himachal Pradesh or Uttarakhand two example I would like to give you know continuously increasing. And if you will see the seasonally Himalaya is a very important you know uh, tourist place and uh, Himalayan environment and seasonality you know I would like to mention is, is starting from the April to uh, October we have the best time except the some in between not good time particularly during the monsoon time. Uh, we have low level of tourism particularly in the uh, November to February, but many people visit the Ladakh in foreign country from foreign country for academic purpose and some other you know skiing and other. Historically, I would like to relate with the uh, British hill stations, you know, develop particularly for the tourism purposes, and hope you will remember Darjeeling, then you know, Simla, Kulu Manali, uh, these were the very important hill station during the British time. So, it is a very old tradition particularly the Himalaya has a very old tradition and we have many stations you know like a, uh, on different elevation like Silong, Darjeeling, Nainital, Almora, Rani, Khet, Dehradun, Masuri, Simla, Srinagar, Chakrata even. Uh, uh, these are the important. Then you know here I would like to tell you through this diagram that the how you know if in very high Himalaya you know uh, northern part of the Himachal Pradesh attracting a lot of tourists because of the lakes different type of glaciers lake uh, uh, snow skiing you know sites are there and particularly I would like to take this the tourism point of how the focusing on Himalayan glaciers, forest you can see, lakes, gardens you know Nisat or several you know gardens located in Srinagar, uh, Dal Lake is a very important uh, you know resource provides a good environment. Then you know you can see this the uh, Nanda Devi Biosphere Reserve, valley of flowers located there and uh, uh, so simultaneously side by side you can find the glaciers and then the forest. Coming to uh, the high Himalaya I would like to particularly mention about the Ladakh region, the Langtang, you know, wetland, uh, you know, you can find, you know, average altitude of 4700 meters, you know. So, on different altitudinal gradients, we have a different type of the flora, fauna, uh, different type of the climatic zone exist. Like I would like to mention about the we have the snow clad zone upper part, then alpine region where the more grazing and all and transhuman community also live and people migrate during the uh, summer time to upland. Then you know come to the temperate zone, temperate zone is considered as a very very productive zone particularly for the fruit cultivation you know all your apple and other different type of the fruits are uh, being grown in the this zone temperate zone. So, but you know when you go to highland and uh, very highland you know wetlands area Changtang region I would like to mention unique and fragile ecosystem fresh water as well as brackish water for valley salinity and size age, uh, uh, many wetlands you know very important to 
भिजिट इन सुमोरी ट्विन लेक्स आई कैन गिव यू दिस द फोटोग्राफ ऑफ सुमरी लेक से वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टिपिकल यू नो लेक हैबिटाट दीज आर द वेरी वेरी फ्रेश वाटर पे वाटर लॉट ऑफ टूरिस्ट गोइंग समाइम इट इज दीज लेक्स आर कंसिडर इज ए वेरी वेरी प्योर एंड वी हैव द वेराइटी ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द बायोडाइवर्सिटी यू कैन सी दिस द एनिमल्स बार हेडेड गीज ब्लैक नेक्ट क्रेन क्यों क्यों हिमालयन मार्मट दीज आर द सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट यू नो नॉर्थ ईस्ट रीजन इफ यू सी यू कैन फाइंड द लॉट ऑफ द कल्चरल साइट नॉर्थ ईस्ट इज ऑल्सो द यू नो वन कैन सी ए यूनिक फीचर एंड कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ द फिजिकल लैंडस्केप वेयर यू नो ड्यू टू ब्रह्मपुत्रा वी हैव ए डिफरेंट फिजिकल साइट्स एंड देन एलॉन्ग द ब्रह्मपुत्रा वी कैन फाइंड द सेवरल कल्चरल फीचर्स टेम्पल्स आर एग्जिस्ट दीज रिवर्स आर वेरी कंसिडर इज ए सेक्रेड रिवर यू नो पर्टिकुलरली आई वुड लाइक टू मैंसन अबाउट द माजुली आईलैंड इज ए वेरी फेमस वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट ए फेमस वन कैन सी द रिवर इट सेल्फ द नामेरी टेम्पुल मजुली डिब्रुगढ़ दीज आर द सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट साइट्स यू नो वेन आई टॉक टू बायोडाइवर्सिटी आई शुड नॉट फॉरगेट द नंदा देवी बाय सॉरी काजीरंगा नेशनल पार्क एंड यू कैन सी दिस द थ्रेट इन बायोडाइवर्सिटी हाउ ड्यू टू फ्लडिंग इन पिलोवियल इन्वायरमेंट एंड मेनी टूरिस्ट लोकल टूरिस्ट एंड इवन द फॉरन टूरिस्ट दे भिजिट फॉर ऑन हॉर्न वन हॉर्न रायनो यू नो डियर्स एलिफेंट्स दीज आर द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इवन द टिपिकल बफेलोज एंड Uh, are also there in this area extreme south you can find this the uh, both two coast many good physical features backwater system in backwaters we have the lot of the cultural features exist religious sites and then you know the many people uh, for weekend or the Uh, after the marriage you know they go you know for the uh, recreational purposes uh, because the two coast of peninsula is a very rich biodiversity estuary backwater ecosystem and dependent socio cultural groups and typical fishing community exist and you can see this the these uh, houses be, uh, you know Uh, based on the local knowledge and tenants i would like to tell you that the tourism provides lot of livelihood opportunity many opportunities are available livelihood health resorts and other tourist activity land use changes building and hotel constructions these are uh, very much increasing shops you know bakery fruits shop other confectionery items flower uh, soaps gift shop clothes and accessory along with tibbatan special market these are the very important particularly you know if you go to dharamsala area dairy business along with the vegetable demand is also incurring and providing the benefit to the local you know sometime the local villagers they are growing the medicinal plants foreign and the indian tourists they visit for the specific requirement so what can see a very close linkage with the local growers livestock poultry 
rearing these are the uh, thing i would like to tell you this indigenous medicine this is a promising soft industry you know aquapuncture yoga ayurveda korean oriental medicine spiritualism meditation you know if you will go to dharamsala or many area in such sites many people for meditation purposes also sometime uh, 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 visit so recreation generating livelihoods include the following like a yoga tours ayurvedic herbal therapy tibetan medicine particularly this one you know when we talk about the himachal pradesh prospects for wellness you know tourism and you can understand from the site of this this himalaya that the how wellness tourism can be promoted in such area is it provides the very important niche you can see the tra traditional healers how they sell local product local baths even female baths they are very very famous you know in in this regions like a himachal pradesh uttarakhand and even some part of the northeastern zone we have the many ayurvedic houses cooking classes so several livelihood option can be generated through the tourism and already people are doing you know earlier you know main complaint was that we are not able to utilize the local people sometimes the even the tourist for the some important uh, uh, site they go from the city we have to train the local tourists so eco tourism you know was promoted you know community tourism so that the community should get the more and more benefit you can see here the how they prepare the wooden different type of the uh, equipment materials handicraft handicraft you know many handicraft industry butico viewers association i would like to mention particularly for the kullu valley where you know the women are involved particularly i would like to mention that the mahila mandal women groups they are very very active women groups in uh, in himalayan area including himachal pradesh and uttarakhand where you know uh, this here you can see this herb growing on pot sea buck thorn you know they use also from that but what i would like to tell you that we have to provide the processing opportunity marketing industry you know here i would like to mention about and so that is why even the iit i here i would like to mention that the how nmpb national medicinal plant board they sponsor this program and iit they are promoting you know uh, medicinal gardens you know all over the uh, uh, country you know we have a special nmpb board there and several processing can be done collecting the uh, different type of the uh, products here you can see the the one important collection i am putting before you from iit kharagpur uh, during once my visit i i saw this rural development center how they are collecting this such type of the rural products it is a very important particularly for the livelihood linkage here you can see a small scale handicraft industry these are very very important and attracting the tourist all over the country not only in himalaya but the southern india you know different products coming through the spices particularly in the south indian india through the wood these are the different products here you can see this the rural tourism rural tourism and you can understand from your known person this is a one village from uttara uttarakhand it is called the lata village in nanda devi biosphere reserve very typical and i selected this because 
the Chipko movement has started. You will ask me to identify the who initiated the Chipko movement. Chipko movement was the Gaura Devi, a villager from this Lata village. She actually organized the women and then Chipko movement has started and later on you know Sri Sundarlal Bahuna ji and uh, Sri Chandi Prasad Bhatt ji they contributed very substantially to carry on the message of the Chipko movement but originally coming from this village you know so rural tourism even for showing this village many foreigners used to come and see that the, where this Chipko movement originated you know the uh, understanding the knowledge of the people you know women I, I tell you the very very important and we have to involve the women particularly in the tourism industry as a tourist guide and uh, uh, several livelihood opportunity here you can see this the how they are collecting if we can divert our you know this women power from collecting this water and collecting water and uh, uh, you know fodder to that as a tourist guide or you know the several type of the household industry I can I, I can tell you that you know particularly the Himalayan states can take a lead on this for promoting the tourism industry. So you know like a, a herbal garden they are growing but they are not getting the better product. So, we have to provide the such opportunity so that the people get the market, you know, linkages with the market. They do not have time to go to the market, you know, and we can divert the this vital, you know, women manpower from collecting the water and fodder to the, you know, collecting the medicine collecting the different type of the you know library. Here you can see beekeeping how it is a major important livelihood sustainability options and many you know uh, income can be provided to the women group in the Himalayan area. Adventure tourism I would like to take few minutes and first time in 2015 you know I would like to mention about the Kara, uh, Kangra district the one very important initiative. Uh, taken by the paragliding world cup in October 2015 and I can tell you this was considered as a one of the best in the world a Tibetan population residing in Bir along with the local community known as known for the monastery Tibetan different type of cultures so you know many people came not only adventure you know paragliding but also for treatment of Tibetan medicine. So, one can link, one can develop the different type of the linkages and ultimately who will be benefited? Lo local people will be benefited. Home stay, guest house, catering, restaurant, uh, a, a, a restaurant business, this all can flourish automatically if we can have become a good place for education purpose many schools and colleges they can come uh, for education purpose. National park you know you see in Uttarakhand uh, like a Carvet National Park I would like to mention. Valley of flower you know in the, uh, 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 this valley of flower is little far but many people used to visit the Carvet National Park. In the same you know I would like to mention about the Monal uh, Park in, in, in Manali. Monal is a very important bird, it is a state bird, it is called the uh, uh, Himachal state bird, it is a very attracting the lot of. So, it may be a very good place of education not only for the local but also for the people coming from the far distance places in Chota and Bara, Bengal, he, here you can see the photograph of paragliding world cup, you know uh, how paragliders are, uh, are landing. So, this has been a very very successful and we have many such site of site and I can tell you even air connectivity can play a very important role and air connection uh, can be promoted many places you know in Uttarakhand we have a good site but we are not able to link because we are lacking the air connectivity but if we will have this type of promotion 
So, automatically the more and more people will come and so will get the travelers. I would like to take few minutes on the cultural aspects also and when I talk about the culture I should not forget the city like a Varanasi. It is called a city of light. You know, there is a, uh, you know, Dinah Ek, a very famous uh, researcher. She wrote a book, City, you know, Banaras as a city of light. And it is called the oldest living city of the world, you know, See, attracting the so much problem. And, you know, at present we have just few days back our Prime Minister inaugurated the port there and many, you know, uh, water connectivity from the Kandala and from the eastern side we are uh, uh, getting. We have the many ghats, temples, sacred ponds, pilgrimage circuits, fair, festivals, imp important heritage site. And you can see here uh, Sarnath, you know, that is a very important Buddhist site located not very far, maybe 20-25 kilometers from the uh, uh, Varanasi. So, river front terraces, ponds, you know, these are the some of the important sites and uh, can play a very, very important role, particularly uh, for promoting the tourism. But I can tell you, we have to do little bit uh, more, you know, particularly for the cleanness and other things. Important ghats like the Dasa Same, Sarish Chand Ghat, Manika, uh, Manikanika, these are the important Asi Ghat, you know, is particularly for the uh, spiritual and, uh, you know, academic purpose, you know, Asi Ghat is a very, very important. Here you see this, the Ganga Arti, once in, you might be knowing Prime Minister of Kyoto, uh, sorry, Prime Minister of uh, Japan came and then they decided that we should develop these cities like a Kyoto, you know, Ganga Arti. Same, you know, similarly recently we had in Faizabad. <coughs> so, pilgrimage tourism, river tourism, these all should be linked together, you know, and then, so religious tourism, pilgrimage tourism and river tourism. Through linking we can attract a lot, you know, and we can promote the culture, but we should not forget our old different sites, you know, Fatehpur Sikri, like Agra Fort, you can see, you see, there are so much people, you know, coming to see the Agra, but we have a still so expensive tickets for that. You know, we are more interested for selling the tickets to the foreigners, it is a more than 1200, you know, rupees and all. You know, if the person, foreigner coming to Agra, they are buying many things, many equipment. Ultimately, they will, our handicraft industry will be promoted. Many, our restaurant industry will be promoted. So, we are more concerned about the direct. What I do, I do feel that we have to mobilize the indirect benefit, you know. And government should play a very important role in this country. Pilgrimage places, you know, we have, we, I should not forget, like it's, you can see here, Jamunetri, Gangotri, Kedarnath, Badrinath, but what about connectivity? We do not have connectivity. That is the most important hurdle in developing this, these sites. Only we have more pilgrimage, but many foreigners can come. and. And if they are coming, they will stay in the hotel. Hotel industry will flourish. The restaurant industry will flourish. The handicraft industry, ultimately local people will benefit. Here I am taking temple tourism, you know, some from the Dharamsala area. You can see this, the, uh, selling the idols and uh, variety of things, you know, uh, are very, very. But I would like to also go to the, our old heritage. You see the caves, Aurangabad area in Maharashtra. It's very, very important. You can see the symbol of our rich culture, Ajanta caves. You can see this Elora caves. Very difficult to show through the photographs, the image, perception, and language of cultural landscape, you know. 
attracting a lot of tourists daily but we are we have to actually improve the infrastructure facility in this area here historical site of aurangabad in maharashtra bibi ka makabra is a very famous lot of attracting you know uh, panchaki is a very important you can see this the uh, photographs particularly when you talk maharashtra we have uh, several important sites even the, along the rivers many geomorphic sites attracting the so much you know tourist secret no need to emphasize about the secret river we have discussed this already but you see the sangam this year also we are organizing very important you know but apart from infrastructure we have to link with the academic purposes different type of the academic seminar symposiums you know the learning outcome from these are very very important you know so educational we are not able to make these events educational a purpose you know recently we had the chhat is a very important becoming a very very popular many people come and see this uh, import along the ganga narmada godavari kaveri we have many uh, uh, on the different Uh, joint of the river crossing of the river we have uh, several sites and we have fairs and the festivals links with that but most of the time these are localized we have to i think central government a state government should take up this particularly for promoting and disseminating but there is a say tourism destroy tourism means pollution we have to take promote the eco tourism environment tourism you know pollution of secret rivers you know so that is why cleaning of ganga is not a just a cleaning a river cleaning our heritage cleaning our cultural landscape providing opportunity to the fisherman who can fish for transport providing you know during the even monsoon time people go and take bath daily along those who are living uh, along our rivers those villages for cooking purpose they use the river water because they have a perception that it is a very easy to cook particularly the dal you know dal is a very important protis, uh, protein you know considered for india but so you know cleaning is just not a uh, cleaning for religious and other purposes but we have many things related with this it is not like a thames river but you can see this the problems here i would like to take from banarasi how disposal of flowers and rivers we have to take we have to uh, uh, and uh, uh, our honorable supreme court has taken this year very important initiative of the green uh, uh, diwali you know many initiative taken also maharashtra government for the uh, this uh, idol of uh, ganesha you know uh, more uh, eco uh, idol so i think these can play a very very important role you know and you can see this the these are the some of the important many west issues are linked with the tourism uh, self generated solid waste large number of visitors amount of polluted solid waste overload areas pollution garbage includes the food glass clothes stains these are the very very important so ultimately we have to move towards the era of tourism which may be considered as a sustainable tourism thank you with this sir thank you so thank you so much for giving us uh, this uh, session friends uh, we know that you might have lots and lots of question in mind if you have any question then feel free to talk to us through our toll free number our number is 18001010430 i repeat our number is 18001010430 now we would like to 
ask questions from Professor R.P. Singh and we are waiting for your calls. Till then, I have lots of questions in mind. So we have been talking about sustainable uh, tourism. So what important point should be taken into account when we talk about sustainable tourism? As you know, we discuss about the different type of waste, even in mountainous regions, you know, like Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh. We have many in type of degradation, forest, the soil erosion, drying up, destroying the arable agricultural land. So that is why, you know, even cultural degradation, I would like to tell you. So that is why we need the sustainable tourism development. Now the problem is what is the sustainable tourism development? We have the poor infrastructure. That is a very, very important line other problem. These are the, we have to take under the, no doubt, visa problem we have solved. One almost 63, if I exactly remember, 103 or 163 country, 163 country. They have a visa facility online, so we have, this was a very important hurdle. You know, it is a very important for sustainable tourism. Sanitation, environmental pollution problem, budget lo allocation we have to, ultimately the, uh, uh, we have to improve the budget. You know, now we have the 1% only. We have to go to the global average of 6.8%, the budget. Capital in uh, expenditure, you know, 6.4% of GDP. But, you know, global average is 11.8 percent. So, we are lagging behind in expenditure, so budgetary allocation also. No doubt, how high tax rate sometimes we have. You know, I would like to tell you the Malaysia, Sri Lanka even, they have a lot of facility and they have a unified facility. You know, the many agents, they can arrange everything. In most of the cases, in our case, you, they have to go for the a bus ticket, to the train ticket, to the Taj ticket. You know, some package, you know, tool we have to develop and then we can improve. Uh, and uh, uh, these states, you know, this country are getting a lot of very substantial tourists. So we have to take also the some type of the uh, with they do not have hardly they have 10 10 15 percent taxes in our case sometime 40 percent if you combine the hotels and other taxes you know. definitely uh, so we have <coughs> talked about uh, the different types of uh, tourism that is for example heritage tourism or if uh, you know, somebody is uh, interested in going to the hills then there is another kind of tourism so uh, how much uh, renovation of the sites for example if you talk about the heritage tourism should be in uh, should be in continuous practice to uh, uh, to keep our monuments to keep our heritage sites clean as well as renovated from time to time yeah we have to go on to front tourism what i would like to tell you the tourism risk reduction how risk related with the tourism development should be reduced there are many strategy and one i mentioned about the budgetary infrastructure these are the very very local level also one can promote the many thing first i would like to a special strategy you know i would like to give you example of bhutan Bhutan, you know, not they are not opening up for the that anybody can come and all. They have a, some limited for for India, no problem. They we can go, but foreigners they have a, some limit. That so many only foreigners they can they have fee. That so in this way, host set limit to entry to the homeland and the sacred site. This is a one strategy. Activity limitation. You know, I would like to tell you that the, uh, we can also, uh, uh, I am giving you example of a Manali area, that area. Why everybody should, Manali has a different thing. We have the Solang Valley where film and other shooting is there. We have the hot spring there. We have the Hidamya temple there. We have the, uh, um, uh, that uh, Rotang Pass, you know, particularly for more adventure and other recreational purposes and also academic purposes also they go. Then Manikaran. 
so why everybody should stay at uh, manali so maybe we can some few, few places they can in gullu manali bhuntar there are several other different type of the sites sometime you know i would like to tell you that the like going to the manali you know one example i would like to tell you for manali because i did some research work during the 60s we had hardly maybe 10 15 or 30 hotels 60s now at present we have maybe 1000 hotels and motels surrounding that that area so you know and we do not have a plain topography we have a very the uh, uh, the hilly terrain hilly terrain construction means we are the transporting loose materials and waste material to the rivers bias rivers passing through that and bias river so ultimately you no know, flood frequency also will increase because the river bottom will come up but going to that we have now two road but one main road it is possible to have some uh, check and balance you know uh, 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 can be done you know cultural limitation i would like to tell you one example i should not forget when i was going for the stud- with the student some small kid all villages they know me because i visited many times to uh, uh, between the manali to rohtang pass five six villages you know then i per, con, uh, moved to the uh, garhwal himalayano so they will say that the charas charas means that area also is charas and sometimes the foreigner they eat uh, take the buy from that so such type of the, you know the ill uh, you know effects also there you know impact on the dress impact on the food habit and all uh, is also there so that we have to also we have to uh, limit there so rural tourism can bring a very important employment particularly the women and uh, i am giving you example of butiko weavers association where the women of the kullu valley they diversified their activity and now earlier you know people from the delhi and chandigarh they used to go and buy the products even apple and and the uh, our uh, woolen different type of the material but now they uh, they are doing everything marketing they have link with the uh, here in delhi so they are getting more and more uh, profit so we have to market linkage is very very important particularly the traditional handicrafts then you know sharing the knowledge for culture tradition flora fauna educational opportunity we are lacking sustainable tourism we can promote if we can promote the educational opportunity also people come and they can visit the area then in this way will be able to move in the area of direction which may be considered as a sustainable mountain development yes sir so you keep on visiting different places and you have visited to different places as you already said uh, at what front do you believe that we need uh, to work out in this particular area to promote tourism in india do you feel so that there are certain points where we lack yeah you know we have a different types of tourism pilgrimage tourism and you know particularly when we are pilgrimage tourism then you know we have to develop different type of states because generally pilgrimage are not very rich people maybe 1 2% or 5% rich people but 95% are the people coming from south india or even from west bengal so very frequent visitors in uh, the, uh, because of the also the ltc and several type of the facility we have now at present so little bit we have to give the incentives bring incentives to the pilgrimage in, uh, tourism religious sites the cleaning and the uh, we can't do the green taxes on that but those who are coming from foreigners 
coming to the uh, adventure tourism, then for the uh, I would like to skiing, the tracking, these are very very important. You know, we are not utilizing. Hardly we are utilizing, but we have a tremendous opportunity in uh, Jammu Kashmir, uh, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand. Here we can put the green tax also. It is possible from the group. You know, they sometimes they come on the group. So green taxes can be promoted, and these green taxes not for government should collect and come to the. It is, should go to the local area, local. Uh, you know uh, the tourist associations, Mahila Mandal. I would like to you know, uh, particularly in Himachal Pradesh, we have the Mahila Mandal. The such uh, you know they so that regenerating the forest, you know the cleaning purposes. This this type of the thing can be done. Uh, also, I would like to tell you that we have the rural tourism, village tourism, and Buddhist circuits. So. We have to see the tourism should not increase the pressure on the local resources, and so that is why we have to be the use of the alternatives. Like you know, uh, I am telling you that very good scheme, our Ujula scheme can play a very important because earlier people were cutting the tree in the hilly area, you know, but through Ujula, our honourable prime minister, we are reaching an alternative energy sources. We can do uh, collection is very important. Regular collection of waste. You know, I I uh, I remember uh, long back we ha we developed some sticker, and where Himachal Pradesh was first state to banning the polythene. You know, so so a sticker showing that the polythene ban in. Himachal Pradesh, something like that. We have distributed lot of the uh, this type of discussing with the you know at the uh, Manali uh, there is a wildlife awareness education center where I organize almost maybe ten meetings with the government officials, local uh, panchayat heads, you know discussing how they can share their experience. People from mountaining institution. I organize in the uh, Okhi Mart, organize in the Joshi Mart, the such type of the meeting from the local people. Many bads came. In once in uh, uh, in uh, Okhi Mart, I uh, we organize from the environmental biology department, you know, and more than forty bads and many women bads they came. And bringing the different type of plants, these plants were very inaccessible, not you know known to the people. So people can understand, and we can grow large scale. We can develop with the linkages. So adequate, you know, a uh, few important point I would like to mention here: connectivity, security, and hospitality. Three word, you know. Our government should adopt connectivity, and particularly when I am talking about the Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand connectivity, we have to improve. Now, very good that Dehradun is now earlier hardly one airline and all, but now we have so many aircraft to Dehradun. But not to Dehradun, we should have at Chakrata. Also at the uh, Joshi, Okhi Mart, Joshi Mart, maybe a small aircraft, not a big aircraft, because we need the land also for that. So connectivity, security. You know, if I exactly remember in uh, Joshi Mart, near Joshi Mart, there is a one. I am forgetting the name. There is a place where you know it is possible. It is a plain area. I am forgetting that area. Uh, a very plain area where the aircraft can be, you know, uh, used for the, uh, you know, so that you know people can easily reach to the Badrinath. And for Kedarnath they have, but sometimes most of the time they cancel, you know, not very regular and all. Security is very important, you know, law and order because in our country is a, that is why many tourists are not encouraged and. Female tourist and all, 
uh, hospitality. So these are very, very important items to boost the tourism. Sir, like if you talk about the transportation, nowadays when we travel through a uh, train, then we have an option while booking that um, uh, uh, you need to pay a pesa and uh, you will get insured that if any calamity occurs, uh, you will be saved or you will be reimbursed for that. Hmm. Should we have such kind of a facility so that it could promote tourism more and more? It's very important. You know, in our country, this type of insurance type and all, you know, uh, I would like to tell you any foreign student, they are coming for 10 days, they all are insured. In our, even we are professor, we are getting good salary, but when embassy asks for uh, insurance, then we will take, otherwise we do not take. So this type of the insurance uh, is a very important in such area because uh, some security and all is a very, very important most of the time in India, we consider our uh, uh, no uh, knowledge, even sometime they have money, but not much, you know, ignorance about this, the several schemes. Uh, no doubt, I think this government encouraged the many things, you know, and thus this can be done, the medical related also, the, I am forgetting the name, recently they uh, lunch the uh, this uh, very important medical assume this insurance earlier so for the tourists and other you know the travelers you know we should link the such type of the so that you know they are insured and they should feel more safer and safer with this note, thank you, sir. Thank you so much for giving us in-depth knowledge on today's topic. Dear friends, we believe that you have uh, attained lots and lots of uh, knowledge as well as you might have delighted after listening to us. If you have any question pertaining to today's topic, feel free to talk to us through our toll-free number. Uh, in our forthcoming sessions, you can connect to our toll-free number. But right now, as uh, we are ending this uh, lecture here, you can contact us through our email ID that is info.cec at nic.in. We are taking your leave with the promise that we are going to meet again soon. Till then, take care. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.